Okay, so here are some resources and places to look for used cars. So the first I'm going to kind of go over is CarMax. So CarMax runs kind of used car lots. And so they have physical locations where you can go and see the car. And so they also have a couple of nice things. You can test drive the car for 24 hours and they have a 30 day return policy. So it's pretty good. And I think the good thing also is that they just have like a kind of a set price. You don't have to go and haggle. They just give you kind of the best price and you can either take it or leave it. So let's assume that we want we've we've done our research and we've decided that we want to get a Honda Civic. So if we search here, let's choose Honda Civic. And so now it gives us it's already pre included a couple of filters here. So. Uh, it has my location already as uh, Sacramento, and so it's going to show me vehicles within 250 miles of where I am, and it, make and model are already chosen because that's kind of how I started the search. And so let's do, uh, in, so now there's a bunch of you know options that have come up here. So let's say I want to narrow it down further. So let's first of all do price. So let's say I have a budget. Uh, I'm not looking for the higher end stuff. And, you know, it's basically, it looks like they have new cars and I'm sure it goes back, you know, to pretty far for older cars. So let's say, let's say I'm on a budget and I don't want to spend more than 15 or let's say $18,000. So let's put that as a price filter. And then let's say I also don't want a car that has more than 70,000 miles. So it looks like we do have a couple of options that come up. Uh, it looks like they're older. So 2014, 13, 2010. And so, oh, more than that. Okay, no, this is a nationwide search. So you can see here that these are the four that are within my kind of distance requirement. But there are other options if I'm willing to go further away, which I may be open to doing, uh, you know, I could go to Southern California to pick up a car, you know, if I, if it's a better deal. They can also ship. It looks like you can pay $250 and have this ship from Oregon. So, you know, this may be the best deal, even with the shipping. So, so yeah, th this is the setup with CarMax. So let's just click on one and see what comes up. So let's say I just want to go with, like, the most affordable option here. So this 2010 Civic. So it's telling me that they replaced the tires. And it's an older car, 2010, so it's 12 years old, but it has pretty low mileage for that age of a car, only 68,000. So it's probably not been driven that hard. So, um, okay, so then what else do they have here? So can I afford it? Uh, they allow you to kind of do some financing. So you can see here that... If you paid the price, you're going to pay, you can choose a different option here. Let's say I only wanted to put, or let's say I wanted to put more down, 5000 So if I put 5000 down, and then, so you're going to have the price of the car minus my down payment, plus you have taxes, titles, and fees in California. So this is kind of the total amount I need to get financed. And so they give me an estimated monthly payment. Um, for a 72 month loan so I can probably change this if I wanted to only get a three-year loan the payments gonna be higher but I will pay off the car much sooner and pay less interest so you know they're also setting you up with the financing you don't necessarily have to get the financing but you know they have it kind of built in that's part of CarMax's model that they can set you up with the car loan just in the same kind of uh, setup as buying the car uh, we, again, uh, you you could just fork over this fifteen sixteen thousand dollars plus, uh, you know the the tax and title. So you know you probably end up having to come out of pocket, you know seventeen thousand six hundred dollars, and you wouldn't have to finance it at all if you had the money. But if you did want to finance it, they could they could hook you up with a loan too. Okay, so warranties. So they have a built in thirty day money back. Uh, they give you a 90-day or 4,000-mile limited warranty, whichever comes first. And then the manufacturer warranty. So this is this car is too old to be on the manufacturer's warranty. So uh, they, it looks like they do give you a, an optional 
coverage and if you so choose to get extra kind of uh, warranty in case you know the car breaks down or has some serious problem um you know right after you buy it but it looks like it goes up to 150,000 miles uh, or 48 months so again this is something you may want to consider if you don't want to deal with the risk of potentially buying a car that has issues okay and so that's that's kind of carmax um uh, another option is carvana so it's a similar kind of uh business model they sell used cars but they don't have any lots so with uh with carmax you could have it delivered uh, this car delivered to your location. You can view it and, you know, t test drive it. So, you know, that's kind of nice if you want to look and get a sense of the car before you buy it. Carvana, they they have a, a similar thing in that you can buy the car and just try it out for free. And if you don't like it, you can return it. But there's no lot. They just kind of bring the car to your house. So let's see what they have. So let's just look at our Honda Civic again. So again, let's have it under 70,000 miles a year. We don't, it's just going to naturally filter by uh, the, the mileage. And if we put price, so let's say we don't want to pay again more than 18,000. Okay. So now we have a, a similar set of cars and you can see here, you know, maybe, uh, you know, the, the other Carvana one was a 2010. This is a 2013 for a similar price. Uh, so maybe, you know, this is going to be a better deal for me. Um, again, if you like the color, you know, you, you can you can you, you can look through the inventory and see uh, which ones you like And uh, the EX versus the LX. You know, there is different trim packages. So this one might be even better. Uh, Actually, I don't, I'm not sure which one is better, EX or LX. So you'd have to do a little research and see which trim package is better. But you can see they have quite a few options here. And, you know, you can see which one you like the best, which one has the interior and the features you want, and uh, compare the price to CarMax. And, you know, I think they're going to be within a pretty narrow range uh, in terms of price and quality. So, you know, because it's a competitive market. Um, okay, so... That's Carvana. And again, their business model is that you order it and they just they'll bring it on a truck to your house. And uh, I believe you can just try it out for some amount of time. So actually, let's let's go ahead and just click on something. And... OK, so it's telling you that it has no reported accidents. It's passed the Carvana's inspection. It has a hundred day or four thousand one hundred eighty nine mile limited warranty. And it can be returned within seven days for any reason. So that's kind of their their workaround for not having lots where you can go test drive the car. And it looks like they give you a little tool here to do a 360 degree view. Get some pictures of the interior. Looks pretty nice. And it gives you just some more information. So it tells you the price of the car and then again the tax title registration. And it gives you the total cash price. And then you can also finance. And so it has this kind of pay, me, pay, pay monthly estimate. So let's see what the terms are. Okay, so I'd have to enter some information. But basically, like CarMax, they're going to hook you up with some financing if, if that's kind of how you're, you're planning on paying for the car. Okay, Vroom is a, is a competitor to Carvana. And there's, there's actually a bunch of Carvana competitors. Um, so you can try, try looking on there too. Uh, I, I found this website, Auto Tempest. So let's say uh, you didn't want to buy from a dealership because, it, you know, these guys, CarMax, Carvana, they're going to charge a little premium um, because, you know, they do an inspection. They kind of are, they're delivering the car kind of on a silver platter to you. You can, however, buy on Craigslist uh, directly from someone and, you know, end up paying less and, you know, in the case of this Honda Civic, maybe a couple thousand dollars less even. So it may be worth it if you're willing to take the risk and you have some way of evaluating whether a car is in good condition or not. And, you know, really it's just uh, you're willing to take the risk to save, you know, a couple thousand bucks, which may be worthwhile, if, especially if you have some skills with cars and you could fix 
minor stuff if something happened and if you can determine if the car has any issues up front before you buy it. So this website apparently will aggregate Craigslist and listings from these other websites into one place. So let's see. I actually haven't tried it yet, but let's try it together. So let's pick Honda Civic and it gives you a distance from a zip code. So this is again searching used cars. Okay, so again we can put in our filters and it's going to give us a bunch of options here. Um so we can even go down to 6500. This is a this is a interesting vehicle. It's so old. There's only 62,000 miles on it. Uh, but again, it's going to be, it looks like it's being sold by a small dealership and it's on cars.com. So I don't know what the terms and guarantees cars.com offers. Okay, so th this is also interesting. So you have a filter here for any, which is either a dealer or private. Uh, a private party is like just an individual selling it. So let's see what comes up there. So it looks like there's no results. So um, let's take off some of these constraints, maybe just to see it's kind of a quirky website okay no results so i don't know this is you know maybe this this website's not the greatest uh you can fool around with it but let's just go directly to craigslist just see i can show you on there where you can find for sale cars so if you go to the for sale section if you go to cars and truck we can search honda civic and again it also gives you some filtering options So it does pull up quite a few, and it looks like some of these are on Carvana. You're gonna you're gonna have some overlap, but again, I believe that you can also do um, only by owner. So the, again, it has this option of all owner or dealer. So let's just look at just the owner, the owner selling. So these are all the private sellers. So you can see here, uh, you know, there's the 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 ones on Carvana. Uh, you know, this is a seems like a pretty good deal uh, for 14,000 you can get this 2018 Civic and you saw the dealer you know it, they were like 2012 13 14 for you know 17,000 so again there 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 is a pretty good discount you can get if you're going to buy from a private seller and in the video i made on used cars you know there's some checks that you need to do you need to check the title you need to check the um the t the title history to make sure it's, it hasn't been in an accident and stuff and so basically the dealer is gonna do a lot of the due diligence for you so you can see here i can already tell why it's so cheap because it, it's a salvage title car so it was in an accident and it was totaled and then someone fixed it up and now it's in this condition where it looks it looks good and normal um but you know this if you did want to get a salvage title, it's worth getting the uh, the Carfax report, and you can see what kind of accident it was in. Uh, usually, it will outline you know where it was damaged and what kind of accident, and give you a sense of how bad uh, the the accident was. It was if it was like some rear fender issue, and sometimes that can total a car, even if even if uh, it was on a part of the car that's not critical. The cost of repairing it could exceed the value of the car. So, you know, salvage title, that's a whole different thing. You can do your research online on all the different kinds of due diligence for salvage title. But, you know, that's why this one is so cheap. Maybe you're going to save 1000 or $2,000 doing it this way. As you can see, you know, you can see the prices are a little lower. So, yeah, this is another kind of avenue for you. And again, uh, in the video I made on used cars, uh, I kind of gave a list of, of things you can do if you're buying from a private seller to kind of hedge your risk because you're obviously not buying with a warranty or anything.